One big problem that I find a lot of the time is, let's say I'm doing a podcast right now, as you can see me here on the screen, and the camera framing is a little bit off. Imagine I want my face to be here, and then the other guest to be here, and then this guest to be more in the middle of the screen. Now I made a really cool software using Companion, where you can simply just zoom in, move everything around, and then position the framing to where you want it to be. The first thing we want to do is we want to go here into your camera input. It can be literally anything, a vMix call, whatever you choose, and click on the cogwheel. Once you click on the cogwheel, go over to the PTZ section down here on the left, and then make sure for your device type you select virtual PTZ. So what this does is it turns your input into a virtual camera essentially, and then once you click the connect button, hit connect, and now as you can see, you can virtually move it around. You can zoom in, zoom out, once you're zooming in, go left, go right, change the speed of how you do it. Pretty cool. So now what this is going to do is it's going to enable us to build a little config that's going to make you be able to zoom stuff around. When you launch Companion, you want to go straight into the Variables tab and create a new variable. Here we're going to call it Camera, nice and easy. You want to make sure that nothing is set in the current or the starting value, but it doesn't matter because we're going to be hard forcing this anyway. We're going to go over to our buttons and create a new button. I would really recommend sending this on a different page if needed. I wouldn't really put this next to your main buttons. So I'm going to click Create, and here in the Create, I'm first going to set up our camera selection. So here I'm going to type in variable, set raw value, custom variable, choose camera, and I'm going to put my camera name from vMix, which is going to be camera underscore Jacob. In my feedback, I'm going to add one that's going to be called variable check value. So if this variable is camera underscore Jacob, it will turn red. I'm going to call this camera Jacob, turn it to size 14. I'm going to copy this, I'm going to call it camera vMix, or I'm just going to call it vMix call one. And then the value will be call underscore guest underscore one. So that's my first vMix call. I'm going to copy this across, vMix call two, rename this to two. And now, as you can see, when I press the buttons, it turns red when I press them and the variable over here will be changing. So as you can see, as I press the buttons, the variable changes, which is really, really useful. The next thing I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and copy this URL by pressing this button. Go back to my buttons and create the control. So I will create a new button below. This will be the function to move the camera up. I'm gonna type in PTZ, PTZ move. For the input, I will choose custom camera variable. So whatever I select, that's what's gonna be controlled. In the move, I'm going to do up. Then in release actions, I will add PTZ move again, and I'm going to set it to stop, and then do the same thing for the input. Change the image to be the up arrow. Then I'm going to copy this three times. Make one go to the left, and choose left. Make one go to the right, and choose right. And make one of them go down, and choose down. Now, one really important thing as well is the speed. You want to make sure that you set it to something low. For example, I will set it to 0.05. So make sure you upgrade these uh, in all of the fields. So the speed is 0.05. You can adjust it later on. Then I'm going to make two other buttons for zooming in and out. Here I will type in PTZ, focus and zoom. For the input, I'm going to change to custom camera again. Select zoom out. I'm going to add a release action that's going to stop the zoom then put it there. For the image, I'm going to do the zoom out and speed 0.05. Copy this to here, and I'm going to click zoom in, change the image to a plus. When I go into vMix, as you can see, I really want to reframe myself so I can move a bit more to this side of the screen. So we're going to focus on this little box here that I'm looking at right now. So in order to move my face up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the zoom in a little bit, then I'm going to move myself a bit to the side. So as you can see the buttons I am pressing, I want to reposition myself like this, and boom, now i got my framing done. Let's say I want a bit more space, I can zoom in and go like this. Now, if I am to select vMix call number one, for example, and then I press any of these buttons, as you can see, nothing works. However, this is affecting the actual call, but the call right now is a black screen, so you can't really see. But if I press these buttons and then I click back on camera Jacob and now I can zoom out, move up, down and then left and right, which is pretty cool. And that is essentially it. That's a really nice way of being able to reframe your vMix calls without having to anyone move their camera manually in person. Looking for your next gig? 
Join our exclusive broadcast Discord, where the pros connect, collaborate, and grow.